my, that was a good cut for that one. So here we are in Carl's back garden with these beauties behind us. Have you ever seen such a beautiful garden Could pond? we have picked a better podcast backdrop? Now it is hot. We could have picked a better day. <laughs> yes. The sun yes. is beaming, giving me copious amounts of vitamin D at the moment. I'm alright, I've got my vest on. Oh yeah, Sam. Vest got your uh, IB for out, haven't you? Yep. Yep. Um, it's about, I, I genuinely just want to put this out there, it's about 32 degrees mm. right yeah. now. It's no, the it, hottest day of the UK summer. Yeah. yeah. And I'm feeling a bit queasy, so we will be yeah. si- sipping plenty yes, of we will. H2O. Aqua. Yes. So we've just done the multi species challenge. Yes. It was fun. It was. It, the best shoots are the ones where loads of unexpected stuff happened. Yeah. And in my head, I'd planned loads of stuff for this video, and none of the things I'd planned happened. Everything that I didn't plan yeah. happened. So it was crazy. It was so like action packed <laughs> on like, like that chub catch. Oh, yes. Was just. Yeah. There's so many things that I thought were going to be like the top thing of the day, and it just kept getting. <laughs> like, it did get better yeah. and better and better yeah. as, as the day yeah. went on. But are we, we started are, off really strongly are we on that first. To tell people. Yeah, it's what, been released. What happened in that? This is coming out. This after. is. Yes. Uh, this is. Yes. They've, oh, okay, they've yeah. just watched that yes. video. So because you've all watched the uh, multi-species challenge, then uh, they know who's the best angler. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, yeah. The luckiest. Not us there, to be fair. I got so, uh, some of those catches were proper lucky. Yeah. You know, just to coincidentally spot that chub in the tiny little pool. Yeah. And but then be like, it... what's that down there? Oh, it's a, it's a big chub. Like... But to be fair though, to you, like I was just walking back to the van and going to the next venue, but your eyes are like <laughs> everywhere. And then you've seen it. And then I'll stand in next to you. And I don't know if this is in the, uh, if it will be in the film, but you're, you're chucking bread. Oh yeah, over the tree. Over the tree, <laughs> like <laughs> proper, and then a chub took it. Yeah. And you're like, they're feeding on bread, quick, quick. And I'm like, get the rod, Sean. <laughs> so, sometimes fishing is uh, so peaceful yeah. and so relaxing. And then other times it's guerrilla warfare. <laughs> yeah, 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 that yeah. Was, that was one of those moments where you just, I mean, I got stung by, t- yeah. I was, I was got stung by nettles on my face. <laughs> yeah, you were fully in. Yeah. Thanks for the help, by the way. Oh, I know. When that I was in. so <laughs> funny. When, when I, I had my Crocs on. Oh, sorry. They were in sport yeah. mode, but they weren't. They weren't fully ready. They weren't ready. But fair play to you I for mean, going yeah, you in there. You call it luck for spotting the fish, but you had to get down there and wade through those nettles. That could yeah. have been fun. And as, and as far as the um, like the perch and stuff that you managed to catch, you need a little bit of sneaky. Uh, I don't know what you, what you call Tomfoolery. It. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I just accidentally stumbled across. I know. Some, like, well, how do you even find? Like, just driving on the way to the spot. Well, you know, it's on Google Maps. I saw a little stream. Every stream when we're driving, I, we I bet just, you're the yeah. same. You drive across the road, and you're supposed to be focusing on the yeah, road, yeah, and you're yeah. paying attention to the traffic. Yeah, 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 yeah. And there's a blue dot on your sat nav, and you're like, Yeah. What do they call it on the motorway when uh, rubbernecking? Yeah. But yeah, we yeah, anglers yeah. have it for yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. For water neck yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my, uh, I was in my driving, my first driving test yeah. that I failed. Um, and one of the points was uh, what was so interesting about the bridge? Why did you suddenly slow down over the bridge? <laughs> <laughs> so you're on your test and you're looking to spot any fish. That is a true angler there. That's in your blood. That was a bit of a mistake, though, I suppose. I didn't fail it for that. It was just one of the minor <laughs> points yeah, yeah. that they asked. Like, what was that all about? <laughs> That's hilarious. It's got to be safe in the bridges, man. Yeah, but it was a it was a good good day. It was hard in the heat, but we persisted through it. Yeah, I wouldn't say the last few days have been particularly comfortable. Just this weather no. has not been ideal. And I actually thought that this hot weather, because you you know how there's conditions where you're like, I'm going to catch today. Yeah, and there's, then there's conditions like this where it is the brightest, hottest sun, and the water's got no oxygen in it, and the yeah. river's half dry. dry. It's, it's, yeah, my yeah. local rivers have ba- they were barely flowing in places. We, yeah, we've had yeah. such a bad drought. Well, I, how, how long has it not rained for now? Down here, four weeks, five weeks. Yeah, and when it did rain, it was a drop. Yeah, and you, we thought that the fishing was going to be me and my cameraman. Like, this is shall we cancel it? 
like Snake, yeah, Rider, yeah. Snake yeah. Rider coming yeah. all the way down from Birmingham to yeah. fish with us. Yeah, I, and I, I was literally expecting you to go, I think it's going to be too hard yeah. and the fishing's going to be too hard, yeah. let's do it another time. But this and is, I would have been... This is what happens when you go, all right, yeah, probably the, the odds aren't in our favour, Yeah, but... Why not? Let's give it a go. Graft. Yeah. yeah and yeah. it was graft. And a lot of my fishing is graft. Yeah. yeah. A few nights ago, I did it. I, I said, I said, I want to make a river carp video. I spoke to some anglers and they were all going, oh, yeah, no, no river carp coming out. It's, it's really tough. It's been pressured. More, quite a lot of anglers yeah, on the river. Yeah. And I thought, hmm, do I just not bother? Well, yeah. no, I will, but I'm just going to walk further than they have to, to ground that's never been carp fished before. And, we trekked like two miles down the river. Yeah. It, it climbed over gates, through bushes, and eventually got to this little stretch that clearly hadn't been fished before, so overgrown. Yeah. And then Wallop caught two river carp. And that, that, that's the thing, though, about Effort going that extra. Yeah. yeah. Like, we were at a stretch the other day, and um, no one had been there since, like, the season opened. Yeah. And it was savage. And we didn't fish as much as you would have fished because mm. you just would have been in there in the stingers like and and the fishing was good there it was really good because it was so unaccessible mm -hmm. and obviously yeah there was been no pressure there over the winter so yeah. one thing i think i've learned from this trip seeing you catch that chub and how epic that whole <laughs> like you know part of the video was i'm like oh, i just need to it go was like carl saw that chub and he was going to catch that chub yeah <laughs> stingers mountain no. side or no he was going to get it so but with your podcast yeah go on do you have a plan no not at all okay sometimes we do like we I did a, a who is tom who is sean we did one of them okay so remind me <laughs> i'm messing i'm messing what's alex on about oh, yeah. yeah um <clears throat> <laughs> It's like people all the time they come up to me. Oh, I'm in Tesco doing my shopping, or someone's like, Alex, Alex, and I look around and this again. <laughs> yeah, but it's not, you know, because I did the videos with Alex for so long. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. We do kind of look similar, both very tall and lanky. Yeah, I and didn't know you guys were so tall. Yeah, it, I guess in the videos it's harder. To, it's hard to tell because of perspective. Yeah, or just the camera doesn't. Because really, how tall yeah. are you? Uh, six, four. My yeah. brother's six five. Alex is 6'5". My dad's 6'6". Six, six. No way. My mum, 7... No. <laughs> <laughs> no. She's quite little, actually. Yeah, and that's crazy. So I'm 6'3". So, yeah, you two together. Yeah. Proper little and large. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, it's interesting you say, like, on some days you know you're going to catch because of, like... It's just conditions are bad. The conditions, on. but... You've been pre-baiting the spot or yeah, something. Yeah, but for us, ah. Uh, perfect day will be different from your perfect day because you're like from a, a like a carp point of view oh, I suppose yeah. and we're from like a pike point of view yeah so it's interesting I saw like when we were walking around the river like you're there looking for carp and I'm there looking for pike yeah just as default yeah yeah, yeah so yeah, I saw yeah, some murky yeah, water yeah. and I went oh yeah. and you know you're you're looking for rope scattering yeah 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 <laughs> yeah 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 and you just switched on to yes, a different, that's it different wavelength when that cart went off in your swim, uh, when you disturbed it, uh, I was instantly, is that a pot? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 You but see a big a set of rubbery lips and you're like, get the lure, I'll wait. <laughs> yeah. oh. So like, what do you think about lure fishing for pike? Like, what If I say lure fishing for pike, what, 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 what do you say to what that? What does it mean to me? No, yeah, like, what do yeah. you lure? I, I mean, I love it. Yeah. I just don't do a huge amount of it, I think. The sort of venues that I have around this part of the country, I wouldn't say there's a lot of pike fishing on offer, um, and where there is, quite a lot of people know about those spots. Quite a lot of people also doing it. Yeah. Um, what I love pike-wise is uh, is when you're on somewhere where the pike are kind of just wild. Not they're not been they've not been hooked, and they they they're going to attack anything that moves. Yeah, it's, like, it, it's incredible when you're. You know, when you can fish a popper on the surface and have them chasing and stuff like that, that's a, that's a massive thrill to me. But I think as far as pike fishing, I probably fish deads on the river under a float or something, a lot more than I lure fish for them. Have you, you noticed my local river is very murky? Yeah, very. And lures in there 
Does it, ne- it does it works. not even clean up in the winter? Well, no, well no, not in the winter. It's worse. In, in the winter, it's more murky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, a few months ago, it was relatively clear, but yeah. that's during the close season when you can't even yeah. go down there and fish yeah. for them. But uh, the, the sort of the type of venue, the fish seem to mostly be feeding on. You get the better fish or, or on the dead baits. The lures just aren't amazing. There's little glimmers, little sw- periods of the year where the pike are really on it, and you can get you can get bites on lures, and that's. I feel like lure fishing is more pure. I can have a pocket full of lures, some forceps and a mat over my shoulder and just go with one rod yeah. and I'm free. Whereas when yeah. I'm dead baiting, I've got my bucket and I've got my chair yeah, and I've yeah, got my yeah. bank sticks. Yeah. And I don't feel so, it's not so wild. Me versus fish is kind of, all right, I'm going to set up camp and I'm going to, it's a bit yeah. more like cart fishing, isn't it? Dead baiting. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Um, but I, li- I, I, li- I love pike fishing, absolutely. Every yeah. winter, I don't, I don't fish for carp in the winter. No. I used to. I used to be that guy, dedicated, three rods on the spot, bait over the top, yeah. sit there for four nights, freeze to death Wait, in my bed chair, one, and maybe get one bite, beep, I'll probably lose beep. it, or it's a bream. <laughs> yeah. um, but these days, October onwards, I don't, I probably, I rarely cast a carp rod out, because a big pike is, is, a, is an incredible fish. Like, yeah. what, 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 pike wise, what, what, what have you caught? Personal bests and they're not big, mate. No, yeah, I they're not mine big. Mine is fourteen. Yeah, no, no. You say they're not big, but a fourteen-pound pike is a fish that's that long. It's got a head. Yeah, like this. yeah. It's got well, massive teeth. I think there are different it's layers of pike, like PBs, because it depends where you get it from. Sure. Yeah, there's different. Like I, I explain it like a game when you play a yeah. game on like easy, medium, <laughs> hard. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So okay. Let's say you want to catch a thirty-pound pike. You can pretty much probably give up on that quest if you're fishing on probably the canals that you're. Yeah. On. With a lure. So. Yeah. Yeah. But then if you're on Chew Valley Reservoir. Yeah. Back in the day when it was at its best. Yeah. Perhaps with a dead bait yeah, or dead, live bait. Dead, dead even. Baits, like, on there, there was days where people were catching multiple thirties in a day. Yeah. And it's just a different. It's just a different yeah. scale. It's on a different. It's in a different league, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Like you say, easy. Like playing the game on easy, medium and, and hard. Yeah. <laughs> so like a, a canal a canal double is I would say and people will probably disagree with me. Depending on what canal as well. Yeah. True. But True. A, a, so a Birmingham canal double yeah. is equivalent to a reservoir thirty. Uh, a double. Not a, a double. How about just a double? Well okay, fifteen pounder. Yeah. Is equivalent. It's, it's a, yeah, it's because I've only ever seen one above fifteen pound come yeah. out of the canal. So yeah, there's there is different in like levels. I guess that's yeah. the same in carp fishing. Well, yeah, if you're a member of a syndicate lake that's oh, yeah. packed with forties and fifties, yeah. you catch a twenty pound, you don't take photos of it. I'm just jump. <laughs> they're, 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 they're slurping in the surface. He's in the direct. I can hear. Bit of floating bread. <laughs> <laughs> no. no sorry, sorry. <laughs> I was out the window last night. <laughs> I, had some, I had some friends around the other day, and they love fishing. The first thing they did, they, they walked around the corner and went, oh, grab the rock. I mean, <laughs> no, never mind. <laughs> it's, it, that big one, the yellow one's a beast. Yeah. Honestly, it's a chunk. But yeah, I mean, on the, on the river that we were on, if you caught a 20 out of there, you'd be the first person to catch a 20 from that stretch in years. Yeah. But a 20 pounder at Linear Fisheries doesn't yeah. even get put on the catch report. No. So it's, this is, I suppose that's why maybe me asking you what your personal bests are isn't the best sort of way of, of understanding or, 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 mm. or working out what someone's about because I get it all the time, I get people go, oh, what's your PB? And I go, uh, in the UK or France, like, it doesn't matter. I'm like, well, it makes a big difference yeah. because my PB in France is a heck of a lot bigger because yeah. carp in France grow massive. Yeah. And, it, and, and for someone who lives somewhere like someone who lives in Scotland if they've caught a 20 pound carp in Scotland magic I worship them as a carp yeah. angler fair play how do you manage that yeah but you, you 20s down south aren't aren't really a big I, deal I so. find it crazy that I, I find a lot of carp anglers they'll join syndicates yeah they're expensive you know like they can be 400 plus like oh t- there's there's syndicate carp fishing lakes that are Two grand. Yeah. I'm not even joking. No, 10, no, yeah. To go yeah. fishing. But some of them, and they're like, yeah, there's a low stock of 20 in there. You know, and you're like, what? 20 <laughs> yeah, fish? It's, it's, and they're like, yeah, but they're all 30. They're all big, yeah. yeah. But yeah. like, it's that's different, crazy. Different isn't it? style of angling altogether. 
I like to catch fish. I like yeah. to get bites. Mm. I like to creep around and cast baits in front of fish and get that thrill, that excitement from my yeah. fishing. But other people, they want to they wanna put those rods out. Well, my friend Dan, he's perfectly happy to bivy up on a lake that's 50 acres. It's got seven carp in it. And he might catch one fish in a season. Oh, yeah. that me and I'm that. like, how are you still saying? But but surely but he loves you're it. there for like the culture of fishing. Yeah, he he I being think there and he sees the sunrise, he sees the sunset. Yeah, it's an escape from his busy job and whatever. But fishing is just a different thing to everyone. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. a different. Yeah. It means something totally different to everyone. Yeah. Like over the years of my fishing, I've met people who don't even take any photos of the fish they catch. Yeah. Or they, uh, or they're like me where they won't cast in front of the fish until they've set the camera up. Yeah. Because, I don't know, I guess for you guys as well, capturing the moment, telling the story and sharing it with people means a lot. Yeah. To be a YouTuber, you've got to it's, care about that, it's, I suppose. It's as important, if not more, than catching the fish. Yeah. Like, when we're pike fishing and the GoPro, beep, 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 like run, that, whoa! Runs out of battery. We're like... Yeah. Get that know, lure we, out of the water. Because you don't want to get the bite yeah. whilst the camera's not running. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and other people they'd be like, "Oh, the battery's dead. Never mind. Still catch. I still try and catch the fish." Or maybe even they would catch the pike just as the camera batteries run out, and then you know sh cut to. So I just had this while the camera battery's off, and I just don't. Ah, it's the bite that you want to get on the catch. camera, isn't it? That's, That's so the... hard to catch. Yeah. Capture is that bite, that take, like that live take on a GoPro. Sometimes when you've spent four hours law fishing and you've got Shit. one take. <laughs> you've got all this footage, you've got four hours worth of footage and you've got one take, but that's what you wanted to get. Mm. It's so hard to get. So like, it would be heartbreaking if we missed that. Yeah. And one of these days we're going to catch a monster. I and know it's you're coming. you're going to watch that yep. lure twitching in front of the camera and it's going to go yeah. wallop. Yeah. 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 Be, that, and that's, I, I that's imagine it. I imagine it every time now. So we have branched out a bit from canal fishing yeah. because we want to catch good pike yeah <laughs> big pike yeah and we want you know a yeah. river fish trumps a canal fish yeah. all the time like a roach well, on as, a river as far as like the fight yeah it's, it, it's yeah. condition yeah yeah 100 yeah. percent. so we are branching out of it to try and catch a bigger pike mm. and every time we're on the river and we're lure fishing and uh, we're seeing the laws. I'm just waiting for a big twenty to come. And one day, it. yeah, one day it will happen. Yeah, and 100%. Your, your camera will be rolling. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. You'll have that moment, and you'll be able to look, show your kids or your grandkids. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, I like that. That's the moment that I that. Yeah. And, and hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands of people out there can watch that and share the magic. And I think that's the brilliant thing about doing the YouTube. Thing. Yeah. Because sometimes, yeah. like yesterday, when when it was boiling hot we were all knackered yesterday starving hunger it was hot today as well we needed water we were tired and we just had to keep pushing all right we've got to film this we've got to film that we then we've got to drive to this spot we've got to push the yeah. barracks to this spot yeah. and it just feels like wow the filming's a lot of extra effort having Ooh, to yeah. cast multiple times having mm. to set that up and then do it again and then walk around there and do it again it's like wow why do i do this and then you finish the video people watch it and some kid watches it and goes I might try fishing, yeah. and then they've discovered a new hobby, and then yeah. you're like, ah, oh, that's why I do it. Yeah. Yeah. That's the, yeah. that's the, you know, or you get um, families watching the videos, that, that a dad and some kids, they watch the videos, and they go, kids, do you want to go fishing with me? Yeah. And I just think it was worth filming it because they had a good time, or they learned, yeah. or they were inspired to try fishing. Sharing the love of it for me is why is why I'm so desperate yeah. to capture it all the time and share it online. It's a great shirt. Though. Are you guys quite warm? I mean, do I, mean, I look warm? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to grab myself a towel to wipe the sweat from my head. From me? I'll, I'll, I'll wipe the sweat from all of our forehead. I'm the same towel. We're all cut from the same cloth. We've all been uh, sleeping together as well since we've been here. I thought we wasn't going to turn on. No, it's alright. We've been uh, spooning and Sean's been in the middle. Yeah, I've been really, really warm. Have you been middle. telling them our secrets? Yeah. yeah. I thought we was going to not oh. say anything. <laughs> That'll do for about two minutes. Yeah, you you have that bit there, Sean. I'll have this bit and we'll just keep wiping as we go. Yours is going to be drenched. <laughs> <you end> it? <laughs> not as drenched as I was in that river last night. <laughs> <laughs> um, what I was going to say... Do things go wrong often yeah. for you? Yeah, I've, we, watched, I've watched a few of your videos and one thing that I really liked about it is that when things 
when you make mistakes, yeah, you don't you don't always edit it out because I I, I hate hate's a strong word, but I, I can't stand <laughs> when you watch videos and the guy's just cast him perfectly and it and it always lands on the spot and the rod goes off every time after 20 minutes and the bait that he's using is the best bait in the yeah, world yeah 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 and you're like highlight fishing there's no way that always happens because it doesn't no because i fished i fished for a long time and i fished a lot of places i fished with a lot of people and actually in my old job i used to film some of the best anglers in the country yeah i get things wrong all the time yeah but when some of them went yeah, just um, if you mind not having the lost fish because it kind of makes my hooks look bad. Yeah, yeah, if you yeah. You cut that out of the video. I was, I'd be like, well, it's your video, and I'm just paid to be here. Yeah. But that's a bit. It's a part you know? of the story. And, yeah, you know? and I remember being at Nash, and they were quite good at just just including a bit more of what happened, even the even the bad things. Yeah. The, the, you know the mistakes and stuff. But then I watched your channel. I was just like, this is brilliant. This is raw. <laughs> yeah. This is this is well, when uncut. We, like when epic. we first started making videos, we didn't really know what to, we knew. We wanted to make fishing videos, and that was it. Yeah. So we went on this like when we first started it because of all the content that was out there, like and maybe so. This was maybe five years ago. So maybe like you know, you were one of the people we were watching. You and Alex and. I think it might be fair to say that maybe you sometimes painted a perfect picture of... In some of our older videos. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like yeah. six years ago, maybe, or or maybe... Yeah. We, 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 we definitely used to... The session started going wrong and we just put the cameras away and we'd be like, oh, we'll film next session. Yeah. But now when things start going wrong, we're like, look, this is it. This let's, is life. Yeah, let's life's, use it, man. Life's up and down. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Even to the point where... I don't know how long ago it was, three, two or three years ago, I got, I got really depressed, I got really anxious, I was having panic attacks, fell out with good friends, pissed my family off, yeah. and things were not good in my life, but I still woke up one morning and went, I'm just going to tell the truth in this video, because yeah, yeah, I yeah. can't be like, hi guys, welcome back to Come on that channel, life's really great, yeah. I just went, look, here's the deal, sometimes life's not very great. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm not feeling it right now. And by being really honest, and by, yeah. bi by sharing yourself and, and not not painting this picture of life's yeah. perfect all the time, yeah. I think I think that's so much healthier. You know, like you get the Instagram models who yeah. their life's so perfect and they're always beautiful and they wake up in the morning with makeup on perfect. You know, it's not real. Yeah. Life isn't like that. And I definitely think that this highlights real yeah, that yeah. Instagram yeah, and yeah. YouTube can become yeah. maybe isn't healthy and I really love it when I see stuff like what you do where you lose a fish in front of the net and you're gutted because you messed up because your clutch was done yeah okay yeah, yeah. things go wrong yeah. we make mistakes it's all there yeah for everyone to see I think yeah. that's amazing I think that's really good yeah so so we we kind of because all the content most of the content that was out there was like that stuff. It mm. was the perfect fishing. Like I'm an expert, and yeah, yeah. and I think to begin with, we we maybe thought that that's how we needed to be. Yeah, like every shot's got to be all cinematic yeah. and pretty, and you've yeah. always every time you cast, it's got to be perfect. And and like it's just like catching fish and nothing else. Yeah. No, like other like mates having yeah, a laugh yeah. or uh, brothers having a laugh or... think about when you go fishing with a friend any, yeah. anybody who's watching this when you go fishing with a mate yeah you do your fishing but you also have a laugh yeah of course so well why, it's, why it's you... mainly yeah, talking <laughs> and <laughs> drinking beer yeah. <laughs> or you know or, or eating yeah and waiting for a bite and then often not getting a bite yeah and that's that's real yeah and yeah. I guess you guys saw that and went let's try and be a little bit a little bit real here. I think we've. I think over time, through our videos, we just found ourselves and became more comfortable. At, is that a word? Com more comfortable yeah. in ourselves. More, more. What do you say? More comfortable. <laughs> more comfortable. That's fine. We became more That's comfortable right. Makes sense. in ourselves, and our personalities just came out more yes. rather than having a camera put in front of you and being oh, a bit secluded, really which is really hard. easy. When you first start, when you first get like. My first videos, the camera gets switched on and I'm like, oh, it's, oh yeah. 
Um, yes. Um, uh, 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 being yourself, your true self, is is it takes some time to get yeah. to that point. It's so interesting You've got because self confidence. Yeah. I've worked with a lot of anglers in different forms, and sometimes we're having the banter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're having the laugh. And then the camera goes on and it's like serious. I'm using this. Zero point three <laughs> four monofilament. You know, and it's like Bro, you, were, you, like, you were a chilled out, hilarious guy we a split second yeah. ago. Yeah. So uh, and I also think that's pressures of yeah. who's watching it, am yeah. I being judged? I'm a little bit insecure because I don't really present a lot. And sometimes people in the comments can be savage. Yeah, man, oh, it's yeah. Daunting. In the back of my mind sometimes. Yeah. I say something and I go, ooh. I'm gonna get someone and hate me for this. Yeah, there yeah, was a video yeah. I made the other day where I hooked a fish and it got snagged. Yeah. Like I tried my absolute best to stop it from reaching the island, but I couldn't. Yeah. And it got snagged around the island. And I went out and managed to eventually unsnag it. And someone was, oh, you should never have let that happen. You're a bad angler. You should never have reached the island. You should have been using 55 pound line or some nonsense. And I was just like, okay. And that starts to sort. You start, sometimes you can second guess yourself. Mm. You go, like, "Oh, am I going to upset that guy on yeah. the internet who hated yeah, on yeah, me and yeah. left that horrible comment?" Yeah. And, and that that's sometimes in the back of your mind. But then when you come through that, like on this trip, I wasn't thinking about what the haters are going to say. Yeah. I was thinking, I'm having a great time with two absolute legends, yeah. and we're having the best multi-species challenge I think yeah. I've had in a while. <laughs> and and I suppose like the beginning of the video as well. Yeah. Was a bit different. Uh yeah, yeah. Well, it's easy to get stuck in a rut when you've when you're supposed to be uploading regularly, and I never manage to upload regularly because editing just takes me far too long. But when I'm trying to get content out, it can it can sometimes be a bit easy to just like use the same template that you've done before. Like, oh, that worked. I'll just make the same sort of yeah, video again. Works, yeah. yeah, yeah, like a, a formula. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, oh, I do the intro, I go fishing, I catch the fish, I do the outro, I go home. Yeah, it works. But then you rung me up and you were like, let's do a collaboration. I was like, oh, I'd love to do that. But then you came in with ideas like, why don't we do a skit at the intro that's a bit silly and a bit wacky and fun. And at first, I was like, oh no, like this is gonna be weird. But um, we had a really good laugh doing it. Yeah. And actually, whether people, whether people absolutely loved it, whether it made the video get more views or less views, I'm not that bothered. No. Making it the creative process of yeah. of, of doing something different, something yeah. that I've, I've I've never been kidnapped before. Yeah. But I have now. Yeah. It, you know, I've never filmed a a, a movie like like a drama. Dra yeah, yeah. And now I have, thanks to you guys doing this collaboration. Yeah. So. And I guess it's good. it's about like challenging yourself, being out of your comfort zone, mm. and then sometimes it can really work. Yeah. And Sometimes and if it doesn't, at least you've been challenged yeah. and out of your comfort zone. Yeah. I guess you probably felt a bit like that when you were trying to sort that carp out in the middle of the night. And you're waking up and you go, my bite alarm screaming, what do I do? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I literally stood there and stared at my rod with my head torch on, realised, like, and, you know, was oh, computing. It's like, a bite, it's oh, a Oh, I carp. should go and get oh, I need to pick it up. It's good fun, though. We're trying I've, so, trying I've had such a great 24, 48 hours, I don't know what time or day it is even anymore. <laughs> you haven't even got your watch, on. No, I don't even know where it is. <laughs> uh, I've had a great time, but, but we, we always have a good time filming. Yeah. Sometimes it's really hard work, and this, when you don't catch, it's sometimes really disheartening. And I don't know. This collab's been fun. like to be really honest, fun. like I didn't really know what to expect. Like you know, you're like probably the no, you probably you are the biggest like audience in the UK and probably Europe. Europe yeah. And like keep going. <laughs> keep but, going. I like, but, like it. <laughs> you don't know what that person's going to be like. Oh, it's true. Mm. Just because you've watched someone's video yeah. doesn't mean that when you sit down with them in the evening and yeah. at dinner, they're actually going to be like what they are in the videos. Yeah. And that's something I've been mad passionate about since I was probably like 13 or 14. I went to one of the big fishing shows Yeah. and I met my hero. Yeah. And I won't say who my hero was, Yeah. but I Go met on. him and I was just, I can't believe it. Yeah. I'm about to meet him, I'm queuing up in the queue to, you know, get the book signed and meet my hero and he's just like, alright, yeah, cool, nice. 
off you go then. What are you filming? Why are you videoing? Yeah. And my heart just broke. Yeah. Because I'd watched that guy so much and I wanted to be him. And then yeah. all of a sudden I was like, oh, hmm. it, it was all just a, an act. Yeah. And that really hurt. Yeah. Because all of a sudden you don't know. You're like, everything I wanted to be, is it really what it is? And that's when I was, mm. that's when I was like, I'm going to be a top fisherman one day and I'm going to be friendly to everybody yeah, yeah, and I'm yeah. going to be a nice person yeah. and, and, and uh, uh, passionate about what people see in the videos is exactly what they get if, yeah. I meet, if I meet them in the shop or if I'm on the bank or anywhere. Yeah. It's just, I want that, you know, it matters a yeah. lot, yeah. especially when you're meeting kids because those kids they, sometimes they really look up to you. Like you guys 100%. will have kids out there yeah, 100%. who every single time that notification goes, they watch your entire video and you're a role model to that kid. Yeah. Because they're like, I'm going to fish that snag, bro. And I'm yeah. going to... My breath's going to stink <laughs> just like Sean's. <laughs> yeah. And in that position, you owe it to that kid. Yeah. If you meet yeah. them on the bank, you don't turn around and go, oh, no. get lost, I'm filming. Yeah. You, you give them the time of day because you were that kid once yeah, and, yeah. It, and, and the cycle repeats. We, we have had it a couple of times, haven't we, where we've been stopped a couple of times and said, oh, great videos, or we've had a little chat with somebody. And um, I've been, uh, I got caught in Tesco's and I was on a mad one. I was going into Tesco's to grab something and I was going and I needed to go. And somebody stopped me. And then like I realized like, oh, you watch the channel like, and, I, and I completely changed my demeanour because I was going in for milk and I needed to go. Yeah. But then when this got, and it made my day mood. like, yeah. yeah, I was in a bad mood, I was. Yeah. But I didn't want to, of course, I didn't want to project that to somebody that had watched the channel. And it, yeah. ch it made my day, it changed my mood. Yeah. And I, and I suppose, like, you know, not knowing how you were, because I think when, say, you've got like 400,000 subscribers, which is just a mental number, isn't it? I never, when, never, never anticipated that. When you sort of think thing. about it, that four hundred thousand people in quite a niche industry, like hobby, fishing isn't. Yeah, if it was gaming videos, then it would be very small. Time. Yeah, it would be. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah. but I think with the with that territory, I think the default for people can be like, oh, <laughs> oh, he's got. He must be a. You know, yeah. I, I, do you know what I mean? I, I, I do see comments. I've actually seen comments recently because I do. I read every single one. Yeah. And there's lots, but I do still read every single one, and I try to reply as many. But I do about probably sit in bed in the evening. Yeah. Probably yeah. on Mondays or Tuesdays, early on in the week, so before things have got really hectic, I sit in bed in the evening. And I'm like, da -da 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 -da, typing passionately, all interacting yeah. with all of the, yeah. in, in, yeah. interacting with these people, replying to the people who really care about the content and. You know, they've taken the effort to comment and say they like the video. Yeah. I want to take my effort to say thank you. Yeah. But yeah, um, I saw a comment the other day, and they, they sometimes get, get get you down a bit. But there was a guy saying, "Oh yeah, he's got no time for anyone. All he cares about is making money and uh, blah blah blah." Just a load of stuff that is so far from the truth. Yeah. And I was like, "Oh, it's a bit heartbreaking because that person has never actually met me. Because if they had." They probably wouldn't be saying that. They've mm. just taken the assumption yeah. that oh yeah, views, YouTube, yeah. numbers, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's he's gonna be he's gonna be uh, I don't know, arrogant or difficult or something. Yeah, and I'm but difficult, but only <laughs> with my brother and my girlfriend. And no, <laughs> we got a lot. I, uh, genuinely, we got along yeah. much better than I. Could I ever agree. Have hoped yeah, for. same. I've I done, agree. I've done filming with many many people, and I. Genuinely, don't think I've ever had such a laugh. Yeah. For such a prolonged period of time. Yeah. Like after the chub catch and the chaos and you getting the big perch, me getting a big perch, and then you having another big perch. Yeah. The laughs. The, uh, you know when you smile too yeah, much yeah, and your yeah, cheeks yeah. hurt. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just, I was like buzzing, so happy, and so like after every venue, I was like, it's just getting better, isn't it, Sean? <laughs> I was like, honestly, I was, I was buzzing. So yeah, you know, I think it's it's tricky, isn't it? And some people can be a bit jealous, like, but it's it's not easy. Well, yeah, 
you know, like yeah, fishing, a, filming, a like marketing, like it's a whole like business really that you have to do to survive, isn't it? I think, I think people from the outside definitely have the perception that, ah, oh, they they do fishing YouTube. That means they must fish five days a week. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah, yeah. drink champagne on the. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and 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 yeah, it's it's. Massively yeah. far from the truth. I fish. Yeah. I fish one day a week on average. Yeah. The rest of the time, I'm editing the videos. I'm sit. I sit in that office and I, I'm one track minded. Yeah. From, very early in the morning till often very late at night. And, I'm grateful. I'm hugely grateful. And I also feel like I'm also very lucky. Yeah. That I've been able to make a career from fishing. Yeah. But at the same time, when people say, "Oh, it's so easy for you because you just go fishing and." And, and earn a living from it I do have to sort of take a moment and be like yeah I'm, I'm very lucky I'm very grateful and I'm humbled by how things have gone but it wasn't easy no. yeah. like it, it really works. really yeah, wasn't off to get where you like, I, I rewind back to the times when I was 9, 10 years old and I was picking that camera up for the first time and I was figuring out aperture, ISO, yeah, yeah, shutter yeah. speed yeah. and then I fast forward years and years of passionately caring about higher quality content and filming yeah. and stuff. I think of, I think of the, the months that went into just editing like certain films when I wasn't very good at it and it took so much time. You, you know, the, the editing learning curve is a steep one. Yeah, I feel I learn on every single edit. Yeah, I'm like, ooh, ah, Cantona, yeah. like, ah, Cantona. But you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I genuinely do. But you say l luck that you've been lucky. There has I been think some luck. There has been. Yeah. When you bump into someone on the street and that person on the street yeah. happens to lead on to something, yeah. that's lucky. Yeah. But, but sometimes there's other things which couldn't have happened by luck. Yeah. But I think after like doing the video and we were talking about it last night, uh, you know, before we went to bed, like after like working with you, like I think you deserve every single subscriber you've got. Like, and I'm That's not, cool. I'm not no. being like because I, I genuinely like the I've the made a lot of videos. I tell you, I tell you, the passion is there. Yeah, deep, deep inside, it's not like surface level. Oh, I'm looking forward to getting another thousand subs or. I'm looking forward to trying to earn another hundred pounds. Yeah, the, it's much deeper than that. Yeah, I it's can, much, I it's, can it's, honestly it's, tell you, after filming and working with you for the past forty-eight hours, whatever, that is very apparent. <laughs> you don't throw yourself into nettles, <laughs> because, you know, yeah. because all you care about is is money. You yeah. throw yourself into nettles because there's that chub there. Because and it we looks didn't catchable. need that section of the video no, no we, were, we were ready to head off to the we next we could have gone to the next spot yeah but when you when you love fishing more than anything apart from your girlfriend and your mum and dad and your brother uh you go you, you, you smart you, go, you, go, you missed out your other lady and this one and the yellow <laughs> one <laughs> but yeah when fishing is your biggest yeah. passion uh you don't stop at anything no you're thinking about you i go to sleep and i'm like mm. trying to sleep and i'm like I hear a bite alarm in my head. Yeah. Yeah. yeah or well, I see yeah. a float going under when I close my eyes. Yeah. yeah. And I've been doing that since I was nine years old. That I close my eyes in bed and see the float go under. That's when you know you're addicted. That's when you know that's your that's your thing. Yeah. That's your passion. So when you and Alex started fishing, how long was it from going out fishing to making YouTube videos? Oh, like our second trip. Really. Our, our second, third. Really. Trip. Yeah. When you genuinely pretty much didn't have a clue about I had no. either thing, okay. fishing or... If, if you could hypothetically go back to the YouTube that used to exist, that had all my videos on before they all got randomly deleted, and I lost my hard drive as well, and oh, I corrupted, and I lost loads of my old stuff. But if you could go back and watch those videos, you could see me fishing with the bamboo cane. Yeah. And, this, and, and, and the one metre of fishing line that I cut off, cut off of another fisherman's spool yeah. when he wasn't looking <laughs> yeah. and tied a hook on and that was all I had to catch fish with yeah. and when, when that line broke I was just like I'm never going to go fishing again you know yeah. uh, the, being a kid and yeah so we filmed that all that time I'm realising the heat is making me lose track of what I'm saying. Yeah, I know. Sometimes. Yeah, same. Yeah. I'm like, I'm stick with it. Stick with it. <laughs> we're not. We're nearly there, guys. The 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 sessions in the early days. Yeah, we had a camera with us 
third, fourth fishing trip. When we were when we were ecstatic about a rod that was yeah, two, yeah. two, three inches <laughs> long, um, because fishing ca- uh, filming was already came before fishing. Yeah, I did um, I did YouTube long before I went fishing. Right. Um, I set up my first YouTube channel. I think the year after YouTube was made. Oh wow. Um, and I had more subscribers than PewDiePie. I had more subscribers than KSI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they hadn't set up their channels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, I, uh, I had. Uh, yeah, that's a good one for the title. Yeah. I have. I, at yeah. one moment, I have yeah. more subscribers than Logan Paul. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But no, yeah. Back, their agents will be in touch, I'm sure. <laughs> back then, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, so I used to film videos of pl- plasticine animation. Okay. You know, take a picture movie. Oh, stop motion. Stop motion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I did that with plasticine and things, and then I rode my bike up and down the lane and did silly stuff. Yeah. And then found fishing and never thought again about football, never thought again about anything else. Yeah. It was like, oh, I'm going to film this. And, and it, it was just... a shared yeah. passion of filming as well yeah, with your brother. Alex was not bothered so much about the filming in the early days. He was more just like, oh, I want to, I'll just, I'll just like this fishing thing. I'll go with you and do a bit. Yeah. Uh, but then he realised, oh, if we make the videos, then one day, you know, we might be able to earn some money and then buy a fishing rod rather than using a bamboo cane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Or one day we might be able to have a company that gives us bait rather than us having to. Spend you all know, your pocket, spend money, all your on pocket money on bags of sweet corn at Tesco. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. So yeah, there, there was sort of a realization that this could be something quite good one mm. day. And I remember talking to my mum about it when I, you know, when the channel was growing and I was in college, and I was saying, I think this could be a job. This is going to be my job. I'm going to make fishing films on YouTube. And of course, my parents, my tutor at college, went, a YouTuber what's that it doesn't yeah, exist yeah, because yeah. it didn't exist yeah. it simply didn't exist yeah. there weren't full-time youtubers back then and i'm sometimes i just have to pinch myself and be like yeah youtubing is a thing now yeah. and, I, and, and i and i didn't give up because i got a lot of friends who sort of went along with me on my sessions and blogged a bit and they got they bought a handy camera as well and we did it together yeah and yeah, like, yeah this is cool and then they all sort of gave up they're like no nah, i'm not getting views i'm not getting money yeah yeah, yeah they gave yeah. up and yeah. we were like well we're 10 years in and we're not getting views or money yeah but we're going to keep going yeah imagine how many successful channels there would be out there they, if they simply did not give up but, yeah well yeah well look at all the ones who are successful yeah they didn't give up no yeah. End yeah. of story. Like, they just didn't. Yeah, because surely, like your channel and then moving on is probably one of the longest fishing channels yeah, on were, YouTube. They, they? Yeah, got to be I, one I, of them. I mean, surely, my, my, my first channels obviously weren't fishing. No, no, and no. that was during the early days yeah, of YouTube. Yeah. I wish I'd been doing it fishing from the off. Yeah, imagine you know, that would have been a, a, a really long stint. I might have got bored of it. <laughs> no, yeah, impossible. Um, but yeah, I mean, there was there was TA fishing. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. that was that was around yeah. the time of of my of my first fishing channel that I did with Alex called Hooked on Fishing. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, nice. That was original, um, <laughs> and there was a few others. Uh, the, uh, Joe, who does the films for Carpology, he was he was doing YouTube a long long while ago as well. Right. Okay. The uh, how long how long have you been doing it? When did you start Snag Bro? Four years. 2018. Oh, you right? haven't been doing it long. No. Four years. I was under the impression it was sort of a, a ten year thing. Like Four. you, you like you've been doing it since you boys were like mates in school or something. No, no, no. no. We we did a bit of fishing, but no filming. And okay. then we learned how to pike fish, lure fish, and then sort of to do it. Start yeah. Filming. So four years you've been doing it. Yeah. And in that time, you've suddenly gone from not doing videos about fishing to doing really decent ones and understanding all the camera gear yeah being good on camera i've got some serious competition because that's a that's a rapid growth well, that I, is. I think like you know that's one cool. we're, we're like we we really trust each other and we're good friends so that helps oh the dynamic between yeah. the two of you yeah it's a winner and um and then you know 
I was an actor for 10 years, so I was already used to performing. And so being on camera isn't a problem? No. Yeah. It's it's so normal. Not for Tom. <laughs> <laughs> and now... So for the first 10 years of my channel, being on camera was well yeah. awkward. Because I was the kid in school who couldn't even talk to people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the, t the teacher would shout my name and I'd be like... <laughs> so... S flicking on a camera and being all flamboyant, yeah. no chance. For me, that's the easy part. The hard part's fishing. <laughs> Do you know what I've I mean? Wa I've watched you fish. Yeah, too, I know, fair. I know. He's not lying. No, and I will never be like a big fish guy. I, I don't think I ever will be because I care too much about the filming of it mm. and too much about having a laugh and trying to make other people laugh. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, this will yeah. be funny. Think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Never, never mind that fish, I won't cast that <laughs> rod back in because I'm going to do this yeah, to Sean. Yeah. I think when, when I watch your films, I, I, get, I, I get the entertainment value. I'm not, I don't take this the wrong way, I'm not watching your videos to learn how to catch pike. No, of course not. Yeah. No. Sometimes I watch it and I'm like, oh, I'm tempted to give that lure a try. Yeah, or yeah, I'm tempted yeah. to try a location like that. Yeah, but for me it's more it's more like I watch your videos because I go I want to laugh tonight. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I want to kick back. I want to relax. And 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 watching two mates have a great time is you can't not enjoy it. Like I, I can't I can't end one of your videos and be like, well that was boring because boring, it wasn't. Yeah. yeah, it never is. I think I think that's really uh, that's really cool. And I think in a world of YouTube fishing videos where everyone's trying to be the best fisherman and catch the biggest fish. Yeah. You don't need to chase that. And yeah. I think there's lots of kids out there who watch the films, they watch the DVDs and they go, oh, I'm not a good fisherman unless I'm catching 60 pound carp. Yeah, I, I think a and really good example the is the, the BBC show, The uh, White House and Mortimer. Yes. Because- What was the biggest fish they caught in that whole thing? I don't even know. It doesn't matter. I don't, yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're just two great friends. Yeah. With a beautiful connection that are having a laugh yeah. and it just so happens they're fishing and, and fishing is the thing that has yeah. brought them together yeah i i, I think that show is brilliant i've yeah, got mates so i've got mates who say no it's boring it's boring. no i think it's but i think i think brilliant. that more more to in white house is a classic example of fishing in its sort of in its most heartfelt form two old boys spending the latter period of their life well yeah. and, and, and you know being there for one another and then at the other end of the spectrum you've got like um, Monster Carp on the ITV with the Corder Boys which is epic actual fishing yeah, yeah. action yeah. And, and, and you watch that and it's like got like edge of your seat is he going to land it and then yeah, it's yeah, more yeah. Like dramatic and yeah, stuff yeah. but then yeah. you've got two polar opposites that both work but in their own yeah, well, I think they're diff they're for different people. Yeah, some yeah, yeah, people yeah. want to see the big fish, and they're like, "Come on, let's go!" Yeah, and yeah. then some people are like, "Ah, oh, yeah. yeah, just chill and enjoying them, watching them enjoying themselves." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. And it's funny, you know, because people are like, you know, like gaming channels where people will just watch people play the the yeah. game, I and people have like said, "I've never understood that." But like Gogglebox, that's oh, what Gogglebox is. It's people watching people watch telly, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's amazing, isn't it? So it, it, it's a, I don't know. I and think it can be very entertaining. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. It's yeah. human connection yeah. through content, yeah. which is very natural. Mm. So, yeah. On that note. Go on then. I've got a towel up. Yeah, go on, what be face. Don't, don't forget to bring a towel. I've got some goodies for you, Carl. Thank you. I mate. feel like I'm watching the tennis, by the way. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah no, I feel like I'm in the tennis. Know, just, what are you doing, mate? <laughs> is he South African, is he? <laughs> no, he's Australian. What are you saying to me, what mate? Saying? What are you on about, Get mate? Get here. <laughs> no, I'm still, the, I'm still need South a, African. I need a potato for the potassium and then get back on the pitch. I'm just going to check if the cameras are all rolling and they haven't overheated. Because it's hot. I am okay. on fire. I know, I can see you, I can see you. I see you looking at me and you're like, I can see beneath the mask that you're like this, Robin, but below it you're like this, when is this going to end? <laughs> <laughs> are we still rolling, Carl? We're all good, the, camera, okay. the cameras are still recording. Oh, right, Did Carl. you ever watch Walking Dead? Uh, no, sorry. No, because no, he had a son called Carl, and he always, Carl. that's why I have been keep saying, Carl. Carl. That's why I've been always See, saying that over the no, weekend. No, I haven't got the reference. You've also kept saying Alex. Yeah, I know. I've only been doing that to wind you up, though. 
but it's been fun. Uh. What's in your magic bag of treats? Got some treats for you. You're not going to need this right now. Oh, I was going to say, I, I'm actually really, yeah. Uh, go on, put it on. Oh, no. <laughs> You're a bit cold. It's going to be full of sweat. There you go. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yes. I will wear that. Yes. Now, this. In the winter. We'll, we'll, screen, we'll screenshot that product photo. <laughs> Let's stick it on the website, as endorsed by yeah. Snagro Polaroid sunglasses. Cheers, man. You're a legend. And you can't go without the Snagro sticker pack. Oh, but... I've been looked after very Alex! Well. I haven't forgot you, mate. Oh. That's one for Alex. Alex be like, yeah, don't give me one of them. I thought you were yeah. shouting to Alex. I was like, is he here? <laughs> Alex! He doesn't live here. The new... The Snagbro jig fly. Is that what you were using before? Where the pike smack yeah. in the yes. margin? Oh, oh yes. Nice. So when the winter it's comes killer. and you fancy one, yeah. channel you're in a snag bro. Yeah. And, uh, and I've got to get the bite on camera right in front of, of the right course. tip. Snag bro net magnet. Oh, you, you've literally gone for one in ev one of everything in your yeah. Pretty much. And Is there more? Do we have more products? We have more. We have the hook holders. Oh, we are, look. There's your a couple of rod. packs of hook holders. So you put them on your rod, oh, for your rather than putting yeah, yeah, like, your yeah. hook on your eye or rather whatever. Rather than damaging your yeah, ceramics. There you go. And yeah. last but not least. It just doesn't stop ending. Keeps going. It's all in the store. Snagbro.com. <laughs> Buy it now. What's Real this? handle grips. We've got red, blue and green. So this gives you a 0.5 on striking and casting. Okay. And grip. So and grip. I, will Point ca five. I will catch more fish because my sweaty fingers won't slip off exactly the handle. Exactly that. Yeah, you get point. Uh, you get point seven as well if it's. What, and what you get to they keep them married. They the universal. Oh, they literally you squeeze them over. over Do you know yeah. what? They ain't gonna fit on your cart reel. No, they won't fit on them. <laughs> but that, that's yeah, my lower, my lower ones. The lure rods they're good for. They're not good for you know the middle spindle like cart yeah, handle no, reels. Yeah. They're not great yeah, for those. Yeah, yeah. Wow, boys, you've been very, very generous. It's been amazing to have you down fishing. On yeah. Thank you so much for putting us up and taking us out and about and, and feeding you a little bit. And feeding yeah. us, yes. Yeah. I really appreciate it. It's been, it's been a really good experience and uh, I really just enjoyed fishing, filming, having a laugh. And as you say, I, I was really surprised at how well like we got on. Didn't mm. know what to expect. Mm. Collaboration number two has to be a pike match this winter, I guess. Urban pike That's fishing. We've got to do an urban pike yeah, yeah. Yeah. challenge. Right then, so are we all jumping in here now? or? <laughs> well, I'm as wet as if I would jump in here. Yes, it's Thanks crazy. for watching the podcast, guys. Oh, my back. <laughs> Sweaty. My back Sweaty. Is, my back is broken. Oh, I can see the water. <laughs> Final. Oh, Carl. I can see the puddle. <laughs>